Hey, good morning, it's Andreas. Uh, I'm one of the grad students at Kent State, and I thought I would share with you, uh, in case it would be helpful, what I do for, for any class thus far. So I create a schedule in Google Sheets. Here are all the assignments for Dr. Gornick's uh, leading for social justice, for example. And I've just done a few things to make it easy for myself, like, uh, you know, once I complete an assignment, it gets checked off and whatnot. And then you notice up here, too, in a percentage, it shows me, you know, a percent complete of all the assignments. So I just thought I'd show you how to do that. So the first thing I did is I just put everything in a nice spreadsheet. You know, I have a week, due date, assignment, status, and the status is on and off. The way I get these check boxes in here is pretty easy. Uh, you can go in to highlight the whole column there if you wanted to and then uh, right click and then go to data validation and then you'll see in the data validation the criteria is a checkbox as opposed to a list of a range or something like that that you might use so that puts the checkbox in there now a checkbox that's on notice that it's true the value is true and then a checkbox that's is not unchecked the value is false and so what I did then is I did some conditional formatting for um, this range C through E really or really just C through D but that's how it is and you can see that over here so in the custom formula uh, if we open that up I said apply to range C2 to E34 so that's the whole spreadsheet 34 uh, rows and then I said uh, if uh, format the cells if the custom formula is true so um, D2 equals true so if this cell right here D2 if that's true format the whole row this way right and so the dollar sign there says do the whole row uh, if this is true, if D2 is true, then do do the whole thing. Or if this this only this value is true, um, and you can copy and paste and get a copy of this schedule if you wanted to. But that's how we do it. And then likewise for um, if we go out um, to um, cancel there the custom formula and for false, it's just the same thing, just in red. Does that make sense? Um, so we'll cancel out of that. <clears throat> and then I did a percentage wise. So I said, uh, you know, count some percentage wise. So we can look at that formula up here. It said count if in D2 to D34. So that's this, this column here. Count how many are true. So that's where that value comes from. So count if they're true. Uh, and then divide that by count A, you know, count, count all the values in here. Uh, C2 to C34. So that's this column. And, and then I turn that into percentage. So basically it says how many here are true divided by how many actually exist, give me a percentage. And so then when I check that, the percentage goes up. But I haven't completed that one yet, so kind of neat. So that that's how I uh, keep track of stuff. The date over here, I just put in uh, 825, and then I like to know the actual day. So you can do that by formula or formatting the whole row. You go into uh, the one, two, three, go down to more formats, more date and time formats, and then you can build whatever you want. So I like to have the day, the month, but I like to have it as a, sort of a short month, and then the day, and then the year, and then I apply, and I say, off you go. So then it doesn't matter what date format you put in. And then I have a date, or the week number two. So notice I, up top, I have a filter, so I can filter things. So if I only wanna see um, week one, I can do that. And then I just look at week one. And if I only want to look at uh, week three assignments, I can do that. And that helps uh, for later when it gets a little bit busy. So I'm going to select all for now. And I can do the same thing with due date and status and things like that. So I could say, show me all the assignments that are done. Or vice versa, show me all the assignments that are not done. So kind of helpful. Um, hope that works for you. Uh, I'll put a link in the description here on the YouTube video uh, to get a, yourself a copy of the spreadsheet if you wanted to and then you can just look at how it's formatted and do whatever you want. Notice I have some things, other things on here too like readings, and total pages and things like that. Um, you can do whatever you want. So, Hope that works. Have a good day.